So to conclude the photocopy transfer demonstration and introduction, here are the three different varieties of photocopy transfers that I just demonstrated. First you have the line, basically the line only transfer onto cold press illustration board. Then you have the then you have the uh, sketchbook with the drawing that I transferred into there. And then you have the logo transfer onto the cover. And then you have the full value onto cardboard with a fun uh, tooth exploration with the toner. It's got a really distressed and I can go back in and paint on top of that. So those are the three uh, varieties that I wanted to to show here at the very end and now the whole objective is that is to have that information on those surfaces so now you can take any medium any type of paint and paint on top of these transfers so or, or draw on top of these transfers all right so the main reason uh, for this technique is to give you another option how to get information your drawing your artwork onto a surface to paint or to have an aesthetic value to it and another main reason that we introduce you to this technique is to save you time so if you noticed when I transferred the line drawing into my sketchbook Obviously, it, it uh, took that loose piece of paper, that loose drawing, and compiled it into a, uh, into a book. But also, if I were to redraw that into my sketchbook, it would have taken a lot longer. It took about 20 to 30 seconds with the uh, photocopy transfer. The toner, same, and then the line drawing, the same, is to save you time and be more efficient as an artist. All right? So there are the varieties and obviously you can do a ton more varieties just remember that the more rough the surface or the more textured the surface is that you want to transfer onto the more breakup that you're going to get and the drawing won't be as clean and precise so uh, glass on the other hand if you transfer onto glass or a really smooth surface the toner can uh, blur and uh, get a little bit soft because of no texture or no t surface texture on to the transfer. All right, so there you go.